Hello and welcome back to SPECT. Today we'll be making simple fences from really quick materials. Let's get those together and get right in. Okay, so this one's fairly simple. We have the grouting, which is already pre-mixed in, like in the previous videos, uh, with a little bit of sand and brown paint, along with some white glue. My spares and little bits, which are just leftover materials from all the other builds of our usual suspects today. And our paint squad. We have some card, a sponge to paint with, some scissors, high density foam. The important thing we need is this granny grating. You can buy this, or that's the nickname that they give it. You can buy this from the pound store. Um, I normally buy like three or four A3, oh sorry, A4 sheets and just cut them down. Cut down a piece of card, doesn't really matter the shape or size. To add your granny grating to, uh, just basically generate this, or cut this down to about maybe three and a half inches by one and a half high, two inches high. Depends upon what you want to do with the scenery. Try to keep them consistent if you're making more than one. Once you're done cutting that, I suggest you get your black paint and just start sponging it on. I say sponging it on, it's a lot easier. Uh, so the paint sticks. While that's drying, we're gonna get a high density foam. I'm gonna cut it into small little bricks or cubes. But this is just gonna represent the rubble from the terrain, okay? So just cut these down, as you can see there, it's really straightforward, just take a little time and make loads of these, so you've got plenty of these for later. Okay, once you've done that, you have two options about how you can apply your bricks, you could either mix them in uh, to the mix, if you have more than one mix, I suggest you can do that, so you always know that this mix will contain your bricks, and then once you put it on uh, to the cardboard base, then you know where everything sits and you can put your fencing in between. Or you can add these after you've added the grouting and the extras. It is up to you how you want to do that. Okay, get your grouting and place it onto the base. Take your time, make sure it has enough sand on it. It should be fine. Okay, just pull that on. Now you have your first layer on there. You'll do this before it dries. Start taking out some of your bricks and just chuck them on there. Doesn't matter how you want to put them, just throw a few on there. From the extra parts of terrain, okay, you can take the bits of the foam, the expanded foam, crumple that, a little bit of the cork board, and just throw that on there. Okay, it's that simple. Just try to remember to leave a bit of space for the fencing material. And put that aside to dry. I used to say back in the day, here's one that I made earlier. Now, you can recoat this items with more of that filler, or you can just sponge that all black or brown and then wash it. It's up to you. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that and show you what it looks like. And at the same time, I'll then sponge this now silver to give it that metallic look. Okay, you can see there, we've dabbed in the brown. It's quite simple now. Uh, you can glue in your fencing, use a bit of super glue, just find your area and just drop that straight in, like so. So I'm going to get the glue and drop that in. If you do need to cut it back, just cut it back a bit just to make it fit. There's no issue with that. Okay, we left it to dry and as you can see there, we've got a couple of bricks, some pipe work going on, some rubble. It's fantastic. What we're going to do is just pop these with some colour just to make it a little bit different with the bricks and then we're going to add a wash just to get into those areas that we couldn't just sponge paint and then we'll add a little bit of dry brushing afterwards okay, okay. so now that we've washed that and just contrasted a little bit of the colours there you can always add in any of the seasonings from before to kind of add any grass texture or you can silver paint pipes whatever you want to do just to make them pop so right here, all I'm doing is just adding some uh, dusting. Make it look like the rubble has just kind of settled, the dusting settled. And you just do that either side and that will just help the item to pop a bit more. You know, you do as much as you want or as little as you want. But as you can see there, depending upon the terrain, it can make quite a massive different effect. You can rust these. Uh, so if you have like a, any orange paint, you can just water that down and just splodge that on. You can make these silver and like leave the bricks out if you want to and just use two posts and you'll see that in a picture with the other ones that I've done. 
So if you want to create a whole bunch of these all at once as well. See, they're really quick and easy to make. Uh, they don't take long, apart from the uh, filler taking about 24 hours to dry. Other than that, I know you can get quicker fillers. You can you could easily fill the whole table. Okay, now I'll show you those other pictures of it all set up. You can see here the fences turn out okay when they're combined with all the other bits that were done from before. We will get to building that house uh, next time round or ruined buildings, and we'll do that at a later video. So as always, if you can comment, share, subscribe, and also just a reminder that there is a competition for the Primaris Lieutenant in the previous video, which I'll leave a link at the end. Uh, and I'll say as always, this has been Spect. Thank you for your time. PC out.